Good morning, friends. I call you blessed today in the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. No whining and moaning here, no complaining, no belly aching about the times and the seasons we're in, but uh, I'm going to be having uh, rejoicing and praise to the King of Kings. Amen. The Bible teaches us not to worry about anything, but through prayer and thanksgiving and praise to present our request to God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. It's a good word this morning. Don't be anxious about anything. Uh, welcome to 714 Prayer. Uh, so glad you're able to join me and so thankful to be your pastor. Thank you very much for that honor. And uh, so let's have, uh, let's have a time together today, just for a few minutes. Second Chronicles chapter 7 Verse 14 says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, say, seek my face, because that's what I'm going to talk about today. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. So you and I are called to be God seekers. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Seek my face. We're called to be God seekers. Uh, and so for the next few days, I kind of wanted to go over what that kind of, what that looks like. Well, my point today is that a God seeker is going to go after Jesus regardless of the cost, regardless of the cost. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, uh, who was an act, uh, a minister and an activist against the Nazi movement uh, in World War II, uh, wrote a book that has quickly become one of the classics in Christianity. It's called The Cost of Discipleship. And it, and it cost Dietrich everything, and it cost uh, many Christians at that time who were standing for their faith, it cost their lives. And you, we have to ask the question, what are we losing? What are we giving up? What is it costing us? And you have to be willing to chase after God, chase after Jesus, regardless of, of the cost, because the discipleship has a cost. Uh, I wonder if we can lay hold of the same statement that Peter said in Matthew chapter 19, verse 27, where you know uh, Jesus called Peter to follow him, and Peter said to him uh, at one point, says, Behold, we have left everything, and we followed you. He left his business, he left his, his home behind, he left everything behind, and he dared to launch out into the deep, to follow after Jesus, to seek God and to follow after Jesus. What are you willing to leave behind? What am I willing to give up? What cost am I willing to pay? The psalmist David said in Psalm 63, verse 8, My soul follows hard after thee. I'm chasing you, God, with all my might. That's what the psalmist is saying. I'm seeking you, Lord, with everything that I have. Uh, the God seeker is willing to go after Jesus Christ regardless of the cost. So this morning, I'm not talking about some part-time commitment. I'm talking about all the way. I'm talking about seeking after God no matter what the cost may be, no matter what it requires of you and I. And what it does require of you, our, you and I is our entire life, everything. To give up, we must die to live is one of the paradoxes of Scripture. So we have to follow after, seek after God, no matter what it costs us. Mark chapter 10, just to share a couple of verses with you, Mark chapter 10, verse 28, uh, when Peter was, you know, I, I read it just a, uh, a couple of seconds ago where it said, Behold, we have left everything and followed you. Luke chapter 5, verse 27 through 28 says, after that he went out and he noticed a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And he left everything behind and got up and followed Jesus. Hmm. Wow. Well, you know, which, which group are we like? Are we like <clears throat> this group who's just got up and left everything and followed Jesus? Or are we like the group who says, well, I'm going to follow after you, but let me first go take care of this or, or let me do this or what stipulations have we put upon our discipleship? Luke chapter 14, verse 33, it says, In the same way, concluded Jesus, none of you can be my disciples unless you give up everything that you have. 
the cost of discipleship. I think those are pretty strong words, wouldn't you say? And friends, if we're, we're truly going to be a God seeker, if we're going to chase after God with all our heart, then we're going to have to make a decision to go after Jesus regardless of the cost. The God seeker is willing to go after Jesus regardless of the cost. Amen. There's my thought uh, for the day today. Uh, let me take a moment to pray with you. Father, I thank you this morning for uh, your amazing goodness. Thank you for the attraction that you are uh, in terms of having our hearts drawn towards you. And may we chase after you, seek after you with all of our heart. You know, even as your word says, search for me with all your heart and I will be found of you. And so, Lord, let that be uh, our, our cry, our call, our commitment as well to pay whatever cost is required to be disciples of Jesus Christ, to give up whatever is necessary to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, to, even as the disciples did, drop everything and just go follow you, to venture out into the deep water with you, Lord, uh, and so I pray, Father, that, that that could be our heart. And forgive us for the times that we've held back, that we have not given up everything for you. And we've kept part of our own lives for ourselves as to say, you can have this part, God, but you can't have this part. So I make a commitment this morning that I am going to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, lock, stock, and barrel, nothing held back, completely and totally yours. And uh, Lord, I recognize that there's a cost to discipleship. And let me be willing to pay whatever the cost may be. Now, thank you, Jesus, that you paid the price for my soul and for the souls of all those that are hearing, all of mankind. Uh, Father, you paid the price by sending your only begotten son to die on a cross for our salvation, for our healing, for our deliverance. And so, Father, I thank you today and I pray that we can uh, be God seekers in such a way that it draws other people. It's contagious, Lord. Uh, Father, right now there's a coronavirus that is contagious, but may, be, may there be a discipleship <coughs> in us that is contagious, that overwhelms other things. And I thank you, Lord God, that, that COVID-19 is not God, but Jehovah is God. You are God. And you are sovereign over everything. You're in control of everything. And uh, Lord, you never leave us. You never forsake us. You're always there for us. Uh, you give us the water to drink to quench the spiritual thirst and the, the food to eat as it relates to the word of God to, to give us nourishment and sustenance. And I pray, Father, that we could find health, spirit, soul, and body. And may we be willing to give up everything to be disciples of Jesus Christ. I speak blessings this morning over each and every person. I pray, Father, that they are doing well, that they are strong, that they are filled with joy, and they are content in their heart, Lord Jesus. Forgive us for the times that we have complained and whined and moaned and went on and on about the grief and trouble of the day. And I recognize, Lord, that there is grief and trouble of the day, but may we rise above that to give a praise to the King of Kings and to be salt and light to a hurting world, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for going to the cross, for, for dying for me, for my sins. And I know that that is the the heart's cry of every Christian, Lord Jesus, to thank you for sacrificing everything. You paid the cost. You paid the price. And so, Lord, we're willing to um, seek after you, chase after you, regardless of the cost. We thank you in Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen. Well, praise God. I call you blessed today. Uh, what a beautiful day we had yesterday. The sun was shining. It's going to shine again today. Amen. And uh, we're going to get out uh, in the yard and do some things and uh, take care of some things around the house. And uh, listen, I, I want you to know that Diane and Miss Diane and I love you. We are thinking about you, praying for you constantly, and uh, just lifting you up before the Lord, um, trying to communicate as much as we can to all of you within the church, and uh, just love on you and let you know everything's going to be all right. Um, look forward to the day that uh, 
we can all come back together to the house of God and worship the Lord and uh, just have a, a great time in the Lord. Praise God. So uh, I want you to have an amazing day. And uh, when you talk to people on the phone or uh, whatever, uh, you know, and they ask how you're doing, you just tell them, I'm doing supernaturally. Praise God. Uh, I call you blessed. You have an amazing day today. We'll talk to you soon.